Yo, how's it going you guys? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown Ladder and Sessions. Um, I want to say two things. First thing, I am really tired. I like went to sleep at 1 and I woke up right now and it's like 6 and I was like, why am I up right now? Um, but I was like, screw it, got an early day going. So it's a good way to, to start it, you know, do do some showdown. And the thing I like about my showdown videos is it's pretty chill. So I don't have to bring like some crazy kind of energy, you know, like if I'm tired or something, I could just sit back, relax and enjoy myself. That's what I that's what I do during these showdown sessions. Uh, second, I thought, you know what? Let's add another thing to our showdown lives. Right. Right. So we're gonna make it happen. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, throwback to old days in the channel, I used to do only monotype on Showdown, and it, it's still one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun building a monotype team, but playing against other like normal teams, not monotype teams. I like seeing how well a monotype team can do against an actual functioning team. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. For this session it'll be a thing that I just kind of randomly throw in just like how I do um, Pokemon of the week even though that's on Sundays this one will be more of a random thing just whenever I feel like um, I also have another idea for a thing that might be interesting um, so we'll see if we could get that started sometime soon as well never mind I'll just edit that out because I showed a team that you weren't supposed to see and uh and i sneezed so you know screw that <laughs> but today we're actually going to be using a mono grass team um these are for the most part will be teams that i'm using for like my gym leader battles in the near future um so for those of you who didn't see i started pulling up wi-fi battles uh again the first one was a mono bug team for viola's team uh, next one's gonna be Grant, and so on and so forth. Um, but this one is Ramos's team, Monograss, fourth badge gym leader. So expect to see this in a Wi Fi battle soon. Um, but I figured I would use some of these gym leader teams that I made for my Wi Fi battles on a uh, showdown laddering just because uh, I could kind of show them off a little bit more. Because I actually really like this team, which is weird because Grass seems like not a very good type because it's weak to so many things. But we're going to try and make it work, try and show it off and all that stuff. Um, so we got Life Orb Contrary Superior with HP Rock. I like running HP Rock on Superior. It's pretty cool. And Glare. Um, that's always just a fun thing. Sometimes I'll run Sub, but I think for this team, Glare was better. Uh, we got AV... Tangrowth with HP Ice, Mega Sceptile, usual stuff. Uh, T Wave, Stealth Rock, Ferrothorn for like speed control if I could make it happen and stuff. Um, offensive, Natural Cure, Roserade. This is one of my favorite sets to run for Roserade. I love it. Just have Life Orb, three attacks, and rest <laughs> because you have Natural Cure. So, and like Roserade has some decent speed. So you rest once your HP gets low and then just switch out and then you got a full health rose ready to come in later. And uh, last we got we got the tech, okay? Um, this team I think has an easier time with Charizard X than Charizard Y because Sceptile being a dragon that can outspeed it and Superior can outspeed it too and has Dragon Pulse, things like that. Um, even Ferrothorn to just sack it to like a Flare Blitz. <clears throat> but Charizard Y, I didn't really have much to beat it. So, uh, you got your boy Sauce Book over here. Life Orb, Chlorophyll, um, Return, I think, can two hit KO it. If not, do more. Um, but the two hit K the two hit KO comes from, I like this one too. The two hit KO comes from if I get up rocks and Charizard comes in at half. Saucebuck will outspeed it with the chlorophyll and can knock it out with return. So, or even if I can weaken it with something else like Superior's HP Rock and then Revenge Kill with Saucebuck or vice versa, whichever one works. 
Um, so I've never used Saucebook on mono type grass teams before, but I realized like, man, this thing's pretty legit. So that's the team. Um, let's find some games. We're going to be up in OU today. And I want to say too, I'm not always going to be in OU. I definitely want to try Monotype on uh, some lower ladders and see how it works because I've also only ever done Monotype in OU, but that's just because it's the tier I play. Um, so trying it out now that I've played some of the other tiers uh, would be pretty interesting. So anyways, um, this guy's a Heatran, which my team does have some trouble beating. I do have Sceptile with Earthquake and Saucebuck with Jump Kick. But that's basically the extent. Oh, Tank Growth has Earthquake too. <coughs> uh, Scizor might be hard to beat because I only have Roserade with HP Fire, but I do think Roserade could take a hit. Uh, we do have Ferrothorn as well. So here's, here's the thing about these kinds of teams. I kind of feel like I have to lead Sceptile um, just because when people see a mono type team, I feel like they really just like to lead with whatever is good on their team. So this guy could definitely lead Heatran. Um, so I'm just going to lead Sceptile, just in case. As he decides to lead Scizor, so... Okay. Proving me wrong, but that's okay. I could just go out into Ferrothorn. If he wants to U-turn, whatever. If he wants to SD... Wow, that actually did a lot. Am I... No, I'm fully defensive. Oh my gosh. Why that do so much? And now he gets his switch into Heatran. Um, see, and now this puts me in a bad position. I actually kind of want to go for Protect just to get some more leftovers and to see. Yeah. He is just firing off Lava Plumes and such. Now, that sucks because I really don't have a switch for this thing. Um, and I don't want to just let tank growth go down. If anything, I feel like No, Rose Raid helps me beat Clefable. I feel like Superior doesn't do much this game. I'm gonna go out to Superior. Maybe take a hit and if I can live then paralyze after. We live on 1% and he doesn't get the burn. Let's go for glare. There you go. Hey, Superior, you a champ. Thank you. That was legit. That was like all I needed. Um, so now I can go Sceptile, get the Mega Evolution off, have a somewhat resist to fire. <coughs> As he's going to go Clefable. I might have to predict more with this team. Um, I can't really just be doing whatever the hell. I definitely want to go Roserade. Like, he's going to Moonblast. Or Heal Bell. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Alright, so he can go Heatran again. Uh, so let's try it. Let's try it out. I um, think I want to go into... I don't think Sceptile's Earthquake even kills. Let's see. What set am I? Yeah, why do I not have like proper attack investment? I just randomly have Earthquake on here, but not like EV for it. Earthquake doesn't do enough, oh, but I'm hasty. So it can do a decent amount, it's definitely not knocking him out. Um, how about Saucebook? Jump Kick does even less. But I think I want to go into that for now. <coughs> yeah, he just keeps on going Heatran. Definitely going for Jump Kick. This will do over half. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. So now as Heatran is weakened, um, I mean, after Heatran's dealt with, I definitely have an easier time against this team. Um... And he knows my Sceptile has Earthquake. Hmm. I don't know who I can go out into because Tangrowth is not faster. I'm gonna go Sceptile and try and double into Roserade. If that doesn't work... 
Eh. I mean, he has no way to heal his Heatran, so... I think... No, I'm fine. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Because even if he wants to switch, it's chill. And, like, my Ferrothorn just gets HP on this thing. Which, I'm gonna go out into that, even if he wants to go Heatran. As he decides to Swords Dance with his Ferrothorn. We know he has Heal Bell, though, so that's a little annoying. Um... I think I want a T-Wave. I feel like that's better in the long run. And then I'm gonna leave Seed. I mean, unless he has Super Power, he doesn't have anything to hit me with. As he does get paralyzed here. I'm just gonna protect right now. He does have Super Power. Good to know. Um. See, Ferrothorn is good for this, but really unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rock then. It's really all I can do. As he does keep getting paralyzed, so it is working out pretty well because it might come to a point where I can actually, um, just knock out Scizor with, like, Iron Barbs and stuff. As he decides to SD there, which is fine, um, hmm, yeah, so at this point, I'm not worried about Rodham. I have a Grass team. Heatran is almost gone. Scizor is almost gone. Starmie is weak to Grass. Clefable, I need Roserade for, and Superior, I don't know. I have to hope I can beat it with Tank Growth, I guess. Um, I'm going to attempt to double protect. Yeah, because otherwise something else may have to get sacked too, depending on if he gets paralyzed or not. So let's try it. Nope. And now he does get the superpower off. That's going to knock us out. Um, it does bring him down to 5%. But that is not really enough. He does get an attack drop. But that doesn't matter. Alright, so. I just want to see who's taking. It's definitely got to be 10 growth. <coughs> Takes a bullet punch better. Sorry for my coughing, by the way. Still getting over being sick. 19%. Okay. So, I guess if anyone's going to take this, it's going to be Tang Growth. So, we're going to go out into that. Um, and just go for knockoff, I guess. If he gets paralyzed, that'd be amazing, because then he dies to Leech Seed. If not, then, hey, it's what's got to happen. Um... Maybe I shouldn't go for knockoff. Knockoff will kill. He's minus defense. So he has to go for bullet punch here if he wants to get off damage, basically. As he decides to switch out and sack his Heatran. Okay. I mean, my Tangrowth is not really afraid of this thing. As he is not going to die to rocks now with Scizor, but it's at 5%, so it's not going to, like, set up on anything. Um... And I definitely want to just go for, like, knockoff. I mean, well, I guess Giga Drain could have killed it, yeah. So that's a little unfortunate. But getting rid of the Life Orb is nice. And I'm just going to Giga Drain here. Nah, I'm AV, bro. Get out of here. Not happening. So he does get to go Clefable here, unfortunately. Um... And he gets to heal Bell and all that good stuff. As, let's see. See, I don't even know if this has Thunder Wave, which sucks. If I lose Rose Raid, I can't beat Clefable, which is really unfortunate. But I know he's going for Heal Bell for sure. Um, and here, I can definitely afford to go for Sludge Bomb because um, even if Scizor wants to come in, it doesn't knock out Roserade with Bullet Punch. And I am faster, I could just HP Fire. So I'm gonna Sludge Bomb. As he brings out Superior, A, gone. So that can't set up on me now. So his team is looking more so defensive. Um, that's what I like noticing about battles is uh, when when your team is looking 
less and less like it can actually win, you know, because your offensive presence is gone. So if you have good defensive presence, then you could win by like stalling, but it's, I feel like it's much harder that way. So I'm going to go for hidden power. Yeah. Bullet punch does not knock me out as I will have to rest at some point to be able to beat Clefable. So I'm going to try and wear down Rodham. If he wants to go Clefable here, then yeah. Okay. So I, I am faster than this though. I'm going to rest now. Get my HP back. All I can do is like Volt Switch or Hydro Pump. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. So now I'm going to get my Natural Cure. Hey, go out into Tangrowth and we're chilling. All right. So that works out well. Um, I definitely want to go for Knock Off because I don't need to. That doesn't matter. I'm, I'm more so going to be going for Giga Drain, honestly. Um, knock Off is just there for utility. And I don't need the damage from Earthquake anymore, so yeah, I am just fine. And the crit didn't matter in a sense. Um, okay, yeah, he forfeits. I got this one. So, not bad winning the first one. Um, it It is harder to win games with monotype teams, definitely based on the matchup. So things like Heatran or the Scizor, you definitely have to wear down over time. Um, even if you have stuff to just straight up beat them, it's like obvious, you know, so they're not just gonna let you beat the Pokemon that beats your whole team for the most part anyways. Some people play really bad against Monotype. This guy was definitely trying uh, harder, but it was a good game for the first one. So let's see if we can find another one. All right, we got another game. Um, this guy does have a Charizard. I'm pretty sure this is Charizard X. This is one of those X teams. Kind of looking teams, you know? Um, Superior can definitely do good. I feel like I want more attack investment on Sceptile. Um, I don't know. <coughs> I feel like we can win this one. I kind of want to just lead Tangrowth. But let's see. How much can I do to Garchomp with like Scizor? Or Scizor. Um, Sceptile. Mega Sceptile. Dragon Pulse does not knock it out. I don't want him to knock me out with like a dragon move. Chain Growth with Hidden Power Ice. Eh, I kind of like that better. Yeah, I'm gonna go Tang Growth. I just feel like it matches up better against the rest of his team. So we're gonna go HP Ice to Tank Chomp that does 70 to 80 percent. Wow, what? He must have. Well, that's not even max HP. Hello. So whatever. Um. So here, I kind of want to double. I actually. Yeah, that was actually a bad lead on my part. I should have gotten the rock step for Charizard. Um, yeah, I did not think about that. I think I want to go Superior now. <coughs> what the problem is, Superior brings in Vysharp. That can just revenge kill me. Because I don't want him to just get a free switch into Charizard, you know? Let's see. Because Sceptile can't beat Charizard like that. I'm going to go Superior. As he just goes for Outrage. That's crazy. Leaf Storm should kill here. But like I said, it just invites him by Sharp. If he does go by Sharp, I'm just going to go for Glare. As he goes Charizard. Oh wait, but like I said, I feel like this is Charizard X. Huh. Let's see. Superior with Hand Power Rock. 
So to normal Charizard, uh, plus two. HP Rock knocks him out. Dragon Pulse doesn't if he stays in his normal form. Charizard X. Dragon Pulse is what can knock him out, but HP Rock still does a lot, so I'm going for that. Yeah, he has Charizard X, so that's a little unfortunate. But, yes, yeah, he's just going to Dragon Dance there. Alright, that might have been bad. I'm going to go Ferrothorn. I kind of have to. Um, I feel like I really only need rocks for the Charizard. So... I'm gonna go for a T-Wave. Like, if he wants to roost, then he's gonna get slowed. And now I'm gonna go for Leech Seed. Does Flare Blitz knock him out? Well, no, it wouldn't matter anyways, because he's paralyzed now. Yeah. That, that was my point being with that. So, Dragon Pulse from Sceptile will definitely knock him out. Um, and after that... I feel like a good majority of his offensive presence is gone. Um, Azumarill shouldn't be able to beat this team. And neither should Breloom. But possibly. As he does decide to go Breloom now. Um... I really don't want to let Sceptile go down now, but I don't want Breloom to try and like set up in my face either. As he's going to rock to him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what's going to happen. So, I'm just going to Dragon Pulse. He's just going to knock us out with Mog Punch. Um, and now... Hmm. I think I'm going to go Roserade. We resist, and, um, hmm. I just don't want to let Bisharp come in and start setting up on me. And I do have Hidden Power Fire, but I think Bisharp could definitely be a problem. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> um, I don't have to reveal the HP fire either. I'm just going to go for Sludge Bomb. And that'll be just fine. Mach Punch won't knock me out. He's not faster. He's going to go Latias. Does he have Healing Wish? What's, what's happening here? That did a lot though, so I'm just going to Sludge Bomb again. He's going to Psy Shock. That's fine. Um, I should be able to come in. Ugh, I don't want him to healing wish, but at the same time, I can't stop him. So, we're gonna go Tangrowth. I mean, Breloom shouldn't still be able to win. But, I'm gonna knock off here. He goes for Draco. Okay, well. Can he win this one still? Oh, he might be saving Breloom for the Mock Punch to hit my, uh, oh, or not? Does this knock me out? I don't want this to knock me out. No. Okay, cool. Alright, so... It's gonna come down to some mind games with Sucker Punch. But, as long as we get it right, we should be fine. But, I'm gonna go for Gig Drain here. He's gonna knock us out with the play rough, be faster. Why is he faster? It shouldn't be... I don't have any speed on Tangrowth, but I know you can EV speed on Tangrowth to be faster than Azumarill, so that was a little unfortunate. Um, actually, he might just win now. Let's see. Saucebuck, Azumarill. Yeah, Play Rough knocks me out. Basically knocks me out. Horn Leech can knock him out too, actually. So let's see. Okay, cool. So we do knock him out with the Horn Leech. And like I said, it's gonna come down to the 50-50. Jump Kate knocks him out, Sucker Punch doesn't knock me out, so actually yeah, I'm going for that. As he is sashed. Oh. 
And he knocks us out. Okay. GG then. Dang. Well, way to go on his part, preserving the sash on by sharp. So that is unfortunate. Like, that comes down to the very beginning then. Like, if I would have gotten up rocks with Barathorn, like, I should have acknowledged that. But at the same time, like, if he were to lead Charizard, then what? I don't know. Like, it, it definitely... I always forget that it's like a priority to get up rocks and stuff against uh, Charizard. But I'm going to change uh, the EVs real quick. Just take a look at them. Um, put more attack into my Sceptile. So like Earthquake and one-shot Heat Ran and stuff like that. Um, put a little bit more speed into Tangrowth so I could potentially outspeed Azumarill. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back with another game. Um, yeah, I realized that doesn't work out with the EVs. Um, I made it so my Tangrowth was negative attack nature because Earthquake still two hit KO is a Heatran with max HP at that point. Um, so that way, because I was negative speed, um, so I have eight speed EVs in Tangrowth. So if Azumaro has no speed, I'll speed it. If not, a lot of the other ones run way too much speed for me to take out from my defenses on Tangrowth. And Sceptile is kind of the same, but with its special attack and speed. Um, I don't want to risk its special attack because it needs a lot of investment to one-shot Heatran with Earthquake. But I made it a positive attack nature minus defense. Uh, so Sceptile will be a little bit weaker on the special attacking side, but basically with Rocks Up, can one shot he trying with earthquake so that's pretty cool it's weird things i feel like trying that you have to try with mono type teams um but anyways i don't know who this guy wants to lead with he has he has like a lot of potential leads i kind of want to just lead with uh superior maybe superior can definitely sweep him later uh Cause he has Deancey. So, and my Ferrothorn has no attacks. I don't want him to lead Skarmory either. I guess Rose Raid is my best bet. I just don't like the idea of him Brave Birding it right off the bat. So, <coughs> also, I'm pretty sure this can knock me out. Rose Raid has really bad defenses. Let's see. Mega Deancey. Diamond Storm, yeah, just about knocks me out. I mean, Leaf Storm knocks him out, though. I'm gonna go for a Leaf Storm. He's definitely gonna protect. No? Okay. Later? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I mean, I was willing to risk the roll for Diamond Storm to knock me out. Because from full, it has a 37% chance to knock me out. So, if I were to live that, then it just dies. So, that was kind of worth, you know. Um, here, I'm just going Ferrothorn. I don't care if he wants to T-wave that. If he wants to get a prox, fine. Um... I kind of just want to throw off a Thunder Wave in case he wants to go Keldeo. I just don't like switching into Keldeo. And because like when you T-Wave something, you like automatically get up rocks too, you know? As he's going to go for Fire Punch and get the burn. That doesn't matter. I don't need attack on this thing. Um, as here... Yeah, I would really like to get a Brox. But Leech Seed is so tempting. I'm gonna Leech Seed. Okay. Well, guess it wasn't worth it then. Now I have to Stealth Rock. <coughs> Leech Seed would have been nice. Him having Fire Punch doesn't really matter. Jirachi is not like... Well, I guess Jirachi is strong, but... At least having it paralyzed helps me out a bit. But I'm just gonna get on my own rocks here. Break Sturdy. That's nice. As he's gonna wish. Why? You're like potentially letting me leech seed you. Okay. Okay, well. Do we get leech seed? Yep, we get leech seed before the burn. Alright, well. 
I guess Ferrothorn's living longer then. If you want. I want to protect. <laughs> As he gets paralyzed. Why are you letting me get my HP back, bro? What are you doing? Um, let's see. I mean, I should just let this thing go down. Because then... I don't have to switch Sceptile before Mega Evolving into a Fire Punch, so I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave in case he wants to switch. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, if I could get more HP from this thing, good to know it's a Wish set. I'm gonna Protect. I don't really think he's switching. If he does, it doesn't matter. I'm honestly leaving Ferrothorn in to do the same thing. Aw, oh, now I wish I double T-waved. You know how great that would have been? I'm gonna go for T-wave now. Hopefully it's not sub. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, at this point, I mean, the superior is very tempting. Like, that's definitely, that definitely just gets invited in. But can I one-shot this thing? I have an amazing chance to do so. I kind of definitely want to take that chance. I mean, I can't do much to Skarmory, but... Yeah, maybe I'm better off. Just knocking him out with Mega Sceptile. Secret Sword does way too much to Sceptile though. Because I'm not, oh my gosh, regular Sceptile, go. Because I'm not invested in speed. So he could actually outspeed me. So yeah, I'm going superior. <clears throat> I outspeed most things with this nature. I outspeed base 100s anyways. Not 110s. Eh, maybe I'll just go back to Timid. But Leaf Storm is definitely... I mean, like, you can go Skarmory, but... Okay. But it doesn't matter, because I'm going to miss. Um, Let's see. Brave Bird... Shouldn't knock me out, but I definitely don't want to take the damage. Yeah, that's way too much. Especially with Rocks Up. Honestly, I don't have anything for Skarmory. That's more so what I don't have a switch for. Yeah. I don't, don't feel like I need Sauce Bug this game. Honestly. I'm just going to go out into that. So then I could get a switch to Rose Raid. Because he goes for spikes. Yeah, I don't have a way to remove hazards on this team either, so that's the thing. I'm gonna SD. Just see what he wants to do. I could definitely get off some nice damage with like jump kick on him. Sauce book. Let's see. If I'm at plus two. Oh, that's special attack. I was like, why does it not change? What can I do against Garchomp? He's definitely... He didn't get up rocks with this, did he? He's definitely not Tank Chomp. But... How much... How much does Return do? Return does a lot. Let's go for it. I'm pretty sure he's offensive, so he'll be faster than me. But let's see what he wants to do. Did I establish this? Is he faster? Who got up rocks? Oh, we are faster. Oh my gosh. So he is Rocky Helmet. That doesn't matter. We just kind of blew back the guard charm, so that's cool. Um, If Saucebuck outsped this, then Sceptile should definitely outspeed it. I really want to get my Mega Evolution off. Just so I could be faster than Keldeo if it comes down to it. But then like Skarmory gets to come in again, and I don't really like that. 
I feel like I would have to Thunder Wave it or Glare it with Superior. Because otherwise, I kind of just can't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to get my Mega Evolution off. The hazards are going to start to get annoying soon. Because I definitely have to keep switching against like Skarmory. But I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse here. Not going to worry about any funny business. Hey, the crit. So it honestly looks like I get walled by Skarmory. A hundred percent. Um, I'm gonna attempt to uh, maybe knock off his item. I'm gonna go Tangros. I mean, if I get rid of Skarmory, I could definitely win. As he goes superior, I'm. I guess I'm okay with this because I want to glare him. <coughs> so hopefully we get this off. Okay, cool. So now, I mean, potentially, you know, we have some form of chance. Uh, let's see. Superior to Skarmory. This is why I should have Hidden Power Fighter. But I don't. I do have it on Rose Raid, but now's not the time. Ugh. Damage. Okay, that was not worth the damage. I'm going to try and go for Leaf Storm, get up to plus two. That would be nice. Because then HP Rock can do a nice little chunk. Can we get a para Paralysis here? Nope. Okay. So he's going to bring me into Sceptile now. Yeah, this is getting a little annoying. Um, just the hazards. Mega Sceptile, what does the most? Focus Blast does a decent amount, actually. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, keep on keeping on. Damn, yo, if he could get paralyzed, like once, it's a wrap for Skarm. Oh, come on, dude. Now he's not in range anymore. And now he's gonna get paralyzed, watch. Okay, bro. Where's the paralysis? Oh, come on. No, why did he roost there? He was at full. Is he just waiting for me to miss? I mean, I have three left. Like one paralysis is all I need, please. Yes, on the special defense drop. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He's mad cause I am missing. Oh, and the crit. Ah! <laughs> That's what happens when you play defensive, bro. Dang, let him know. Alright, what does more to Jirachi? I think he's Pedef Jirachi. Focus Blast still does more, but let me see how much Earthquake does. Earthquake might do more. If he's Pedef, I'm not Earthquake. Just because he showed Wish. Second crit didn't matter, bro. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna Earthquake, because he dies. If he wants to go Jellison, that's fine. Both of his last two are weak to uh, Leaf Storm. <laughs> yeah, bro. Remember... Remember? Come on, you remember. I got the spadef drop. This dude is funny. Hey, check you out, Sceptile. Breaking through Skarm. And that's not even with special attack investment. Love it. Alright, well, now we leave Storm. <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we just leave Storm till we die. That's fine. Oh my gosh. 
Minus two. Calm down, Sevtao. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was calm, man. Or was that a different guy? Now, this is the dude who let his Deancey die turn one. I still don't know why he did that. But, hey, Mono Grass coming through, putting in the work. <laughs> uh, you know how I said at the beginning of this video that I love battling normal teams with mono type teams? The best part I forgot to mention is when they get mad from losing to a mono type team. Especially when they have a Pokemon that they think just beats my whole team. Oh man, that's why I do this, you know? That is why. That's why I'm here. Alright, so that definitely took forever. We didn't get that many games, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, but it was a fun for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment down below, all that good stuff. And, uh... You know, next one probably won't be monotype, but I look forward to the next time I do do monotype. Hopefully you guys do too. But until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. See you guys in the next video. Later.